Lots of cloud cover today, but summer temperatures are not going away just yet. Adam, we do have some more 70s ahead for us this week, thankfully. We do, yeah. It's going to be a nice warm up again after we start to see a few more of these clouds get on out of here. Now, this is what's going to happen because of it, too. We're going to start to see that air quality perhaps decrease again as we start to see a lot more of that coming in from uh, the eastern side of the mountains. Now, for the time being, tomorrow's forecast looking like it's going to give us good air quality here across parts of Central Sound, but you're noticing some of that smoke haze beginning to show up across parts of the islands and then down a little farther south around Mason County and heading out closer to uh, Grays Harbor County as well. Still, we have that air quality alert for Chelan and Douglas County east of the Cascades until really further notice. The skies right now beginning to clear on out and that's been a lot of the clouds that have been in place with that marine layer, that thick, dense marine layer that took a while again to burn off. Shoreline, a good afternoon to you. Starting to see a little more sunshine and we'll start to warm up maybe perhaps in the mid 60s before things start to cool back on, on in here into the night. Westport seeing the cloudy skies uh, beginning to break apart here along the coast as well up across Hurricane Ridge. Beautiful look there at some of the high thin cirrus clouds and a look at the Olympic Mountains and then here in Seattle. It's uh, starting to turn sunny there at the airport is still indicating we're at 62 and seeing mostly cloudy skies. Those winds out of the northeast currently coming in at six miles per hour. Mid 60s in Bremerton. We're right now at 63 in Olympia. Mid 60s out closer to Forks and then mid 60s around Friday Harbor. We got up closer to the 70s. Bellingham, we're at 68 right now. We'll see if we sneak into the 70s here. I think better chances are though for tomorrow. Satellite and radar picture showing the decrease in the cloud coverage here. Still holding on a little farther south as you go south and on, on I-5. Off towards the west, we have uh, this area of low pressure that is now beginning to work its way up into southeast Alaska. And at the same time, too, our onshore flow that's been a little stronger is starting to not become as strong. We're going to see high pressure build, and that's going to start to cut off some of this onshore flow. So instead of those winds coming directly from west to east, it's going to start to come in more from the south and eventually maybe even more from the northeast by the time we head on into late tomorrow and heading on into more of the latter part of the work week and for this weekend. Tonight, though, more of those clouds, patchy areas of fog developing into the latter part of the night. So after midnight and into early tomorrow morning, that will be similar to what we've had today and yesterday. Now we do think it's going to burn off a little more quickly, meaning we'll get the sun in. That's when highs will start to bounce back into the upper 60s, perhaps a few low 70s. And then by tomorrow night, you're going to start to notice this is at 12 a.m. heading into Friday, and that's where you can see it's not building back as quickly as what we have been seeing the past couple of nights. So that's going to be the change. And yes, it doesn't really come back as thick or as in, as dense as we head into Friday morning, and we should warm up quite a bit more heading on into the afternoon. Then low tonight falling between the low to mid 50s down to 48. In Olympia, we'll drop all the way down to 49 in Chehalis. Low 50s in Bellingham at 50, 51 in Mount Vernon, 48 in Arlington. Here's your seven day forecast. We top off at 72 tomorrow, 76 expected on Friday. We keep more than mid 70s around Saturday and Sunday, and then a little more of that fall like weather comes back around. At this time, with some rain for Monday and Tuesdays, we'll have a weak system move by with highs back in the 60s.